I am Rick Zanotti, and this is episode 13 of Captivating, the Adobe Captivate podcast. If you're like me, you've got a lot of content in PowerPoint that you'd like to leverage. Well, Captivate 4 makes that real powerful and real easy. Let's take a look at how. Now, you can bring PowerPoint into Captivate in one of several ways. You can have any presentation open and import those slides into PowerPoint. You can create a blank project and import the PowerPoint into it. Or you can start directly with a PowerPoint project. In this case, we're going to open a blank project. We'll leave the default at 800 by 600. We'll say OK. And Captivate creates a blank project for us. Let me double click on the first slide. And now to bring in our PowerPoint slides, we'll do a file, import, and then PowerPoint slides. The file open dialog box appears. And we select, in this case, this PowerPoint. And it gives us a choice. Do we want to put this at the end of the project, or do we want to insert it after a particular slide. Now, in this case, we only have one slide, so both of these will, will do the same thing. So we'll just leave it at end of project, and we'll say OK. Now, Captivate's reading the PowerPoint file, and it shows you all the slides that are in there. If I drag the scroller or the slider, you'll notice that these are the slides in the presentation. You'll also notice that they're all checked. That means each one of these slides will be imported. Now, I can clear all of the slides. Now, none of them will be imported. I can select specific ones if I want. Let me clear that again. Or I can select all. In this case, we want to select all the slides. Now, when you advance from slide to slide, it'll default to a mouse click currently. You can also automatically go from slide to slide if you're doing a presentation without any interaction. In this case, we'll just leave it to the mouse click. And we want it linked so we can go back and make changes to PowerPoint that will be reflected in our Captivate piece, as you'll see in a couple minutes. I'll say OK to bring in all the slides. We get an error message or a warning saying, this is bigger. Your PowerPoint's bigger than what your Captivate uh, size is. Do you care? In this case, we don't. We'll just say, bring them in. Captivate does a pretty good job of actually bringing in the uh, slides. So here you go. It created all of the slides, as you can see here on the film strip. We have one blank one. Let's get rid of that. I'll delete it. And now let's take a look at what it brought in. So I'll do a preview. And we'll preview the whole project, which is the F4 key. And you notice the transition came in. So as we click from slide to slide, it takes us to each new slide. And we'll just escape. We don't want to go through the whole presentation. So let's say now you didn't like something. You didn't like, let's say, the transition on the first page. We can go in and actually edit the PowerPoint, as you can see here. I can edit this individual slide. I can edit the entire presentation. I can find the presentation in the library, um, which we'll do later. Or I can export the whole presentation as an animation, which will create a flash piece. In this case, let's edit this one slide. So Captivate is now launching PowerPoint. But it launches it within its own window. You notice up here, it still says we're in Captivate. And then down here, we've got some extra controls you don't normally see in PowerPoint. You've got a Save PowerPoint, and you've got a Cancel. Now, Save, as you'll see in a second, will take you, will save whatever changes you've made. Cancel, if I click it now, will take us right back to Captivate. Nothing was changed. Let's go back and edit the slide in PowerPoint. So now we're here at the slide. Let me click on one of the objects. And let's say we want to change the animation of what it comes in. I'll go to Custom Animation. Now, we already have an animation for this. So let's say we want to change it from flying left. We want to go from the bottom. I would just say from bottom right. So it'll kind of slide on in. 
So we're happy with that animation change. Now we'll just save the PowerPoint. Takes us right back into Captivate. Now if I preview this, I'll press the F4 key. You notice we have the new animation, um, which comes in now from the bottom. Let me escape out of that. Now let's say we want to edit the whole presentation. I can edit presentation. This again takes us into PowerPoint, but now we've got a smaller window. We can see all the slides within PowerPoint. Okay, so here's all the slides. Let's say we didn't like the transition on this slide. So I can again go into our animations and let's just do a dissolve for this transition. So now this will tra do that simple kind of transition and no problem. And we can go back and we'll save the PowerPoint. So Captivate is now rebringing in the slides and making the change to the PowerPoint. Now the beauty of this is not only is it saving it here, but it's also saving it in the PowerPoint. If I press F4 to preview this again, so here is our presentation. We get our transitions. Now this one we did a dissolve. And in this case, you couldn't really tell. Not all the transitions come in exactly as you want, but it does the basic ones. It'll do slides, fades, things like that. Let me escape out of it. And another thing we can do is we can find the presentation in the library. So that opens up our library in a small window. So let's make this window a little bit bigger just by dragging it. So there is our presentation. And we can, again, go in here and edit with PowerPoint. So here we see the same presentation again. If I click Cancel, we're back in Captivate. So ver version 4 of Captivate allows round tripping of changes from Captivate into PowerPoint and back. So this allows you to make changes to PowerPoint without having to change your PowerPoint first and then re-import the slides into the, uh, the actual project. So this will save you a lot of time and it will leverage all of the content that you have. Now Adobe has another product called Adobe Presenter, which is an add-in to PowerPoint, which also allows you to take your PowerPoint content and create a flash-based piece out of it. If you're curious about Adobe Presenter, go to Adobe's website and take a look at it. I think you'll enjoy it. For Captivating, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, if you have any questions, email them to captivating at relate.com.